Hello. Appreciate all of you guys commenting which country you want to see me use next in the Euro series. A highly requested one I've noticed next is Italy. Italy is four and a half stars in the Pez game. However, they look like a five star team. Looking at the stats, you got 85 attack rating, midfield 83, and defense 84. I feel like the defense rating might be deserved to be a little bit higher than that, but we'll check it out in a sec. Let's look at the groups real quick. As always, here are all the groups that we're going to be using. Nothing has been changing. But yeah, in Group A, we've got Turkey, Italy, Wales, and Switzerland. Now that we're doing Italy, the only side we haven't used in this group yet is Switzerland. But yeah, looking forward to this one because I have high hopes for Italy. Their squad is looking sick, and we're always inching really close to clinching the title. It's been a while since we won it. Can we win it today with Italy? Let's find out. I'm all. All right, so the first match is against Turkey. Italy looking like the favorites in this, but you know, can't underestimate this Turkish side. Can't underestimate any of the sides in this group. They're all gonna be tough matches. Let's take a look at the squad. Yeah, we've got a pretty solid bench, but even then, I don't really wanna change any of these guys. In goal, we got Donnarumma. Left back, Spinazzola. Chiellini and Bonucci. And center back, right back we've got Florenzi. Center mid, we've got Barella. Jorginho and Verratti. Very solid midfield, actually. Damn. Up top, we've got Insigne, Chiro Mobile, and Chiesa, who has been incredible for Juventus. But yeah, besides that, when we look at the Turkish squad, they look like the underdogs, sure. You know, whenever we do these Pez playthroughs, the underdogs usually tend to perform, so got to keep our hopes up, but definitely do our best. Don't underestimate any of these sides. Come on, Italy. Oh my god, Donnarumma failed to catch that. Our defender almost collides with him as well. All right, what a very uneventful half. I'm playing horribly right now. Haven't had a single attempt on goal against this Turkish side. Definitely gotta be doing better. I'm using Italy for Christ's sake, but this is my first match back and I'm usually rusty the first one. You know what time it is. It's kickoff glitch time. Oh my god, Chiro's through. Chiro! Immobile! Let's go! A casual finish, honestly. He looked like he wasn't even trying there. Just perfectly positions, onside and everything. It's the typical kickoff glitch goal. What do we expect? Beautiful assist from Benucci, I believe. And yeah, boom. Golazo. Chiro's got it. Chiesa, rip that! Ooh. Go oh, Insigne, Insigne! <sighs> Full time 1 0 for Italy. Decent result for our first match. We only do get the kickoff glitch goal. But at the end of the day, it all works out for us as we get our three points for our first match. Usually the first match is rusty as for us as well, so I'm definitely taking this. Let's look at the rest of the results now. Switzerland draw with Wales 2 2. Denmark beat Finland 2 0. Russia lose to Belgium 1 0. Netherlands beat Ukraine 4 0. Austria beat North Macedonia 1-0. England beat Croatia 1-0. Czech Republic draw Scotland 1-1. Spain beat Sweden 1-0. Poland beat Slovakia 1-0. Portugal beat Hungary 2-0. And Germany draw with France 2-2. So due to Wales and Switzerland drawing, we definitely have the first place spot for now. But uh, nothing's obviously over yet. We still got two matches to play in the group stage. Who is it going to be against next? Switzerland. Hopefully the form stays through against these guys. They're not going to be necessarily easy. In real life, they pulled off some decent upsets against strong teams. So let's do it. Come on, Italy. Damn, that was some solid defending. I came in like, why did... Yo, come on. What was that? Defending from everybody there was awful. Oh, what a pass to Chiro. Chiro! Oh, it's the freaking post. Oh my god. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh no. That was freaking close. 
that was really, really close from Switzerland. They almost scored against us. Nil-nil at halftime. Let's hope with this horrible defending now. No way! Last minute Switzerland score against us. Seferovic, that was awful defending. Spinazzola was all over the place. Oh, I knew it. I, I knew the defense was gonna cost me at one point. They were just looking shaky the entire match. And they score in the last possible minute. Fuck's sake, can't say it's necessarily an upset as Switzerland on our great side, but now we definitely have to win our next game, for sure. Let's just look at the rest of the results. That was extremely disappointing. Wales beat Turkey 1-0. Belgium beat Denmark 2-0, Finland beat Russia 1-0, Austria beat Netherlands 1-0, Ukraine beat North Macedonia 3-0, Scotland beat England 1-0, Croatia beat Czech Republic 2-0, Spain beat Poland 1-0, Sweden beat Slovakia 1-0, France beat Hungary 4-0, and Portugal beat Germany 2-0. Oh my god, we're in third now. Switzerland and Wales both have four points. Wow, from top to nearly bottom immediately. I am nervous now. Wales is definitely not a side you want to mess with. And we put ourselves in a pretty risky position. Can Italy bounce back from this? Let's find out. I'm Odrugovi. My god, Verratti. What the cross? Oh! I thought that was Chiros. Let's go Insigne. Wow. Let's go Chiro with the pass. Yeah, back to Chiro. Chiro, why is he not get into it, man? Rip that, Jorginho. Ooh, keeper barely touches that. Jorginho. You're kidding. We're looking way more dominant than Wales right now, so... The goal is surely to come. Oh, bro, this keeper. Chiro is not being a great aerial threat right now. It's still nil nil at halftime, even though we're looking way more dominant than Wales. They haven't done shit this match, to be honest. Let's go back to Jorginho. Let's go! 1 0 now. Finally, Italy do some damage. Jorginho coming in clutch as he does many times for Chelsea. This guy. Bravo. We, we really needed a goal. It was getting a bit scary. Can't believe I'm barely clutching the group stage with Italy, but it is what it is. We got to keep this lead though. Nothing is ending yet. Can't speak too soon. Come on, Italy. Just finish the job. No way! Bro! That was like one of the easiest crosses to clear out. Not to mention the finishing was freaking awful. It went straight to the keeper. Donnarumma couldn't do shit for some reason. He just stood there as it went straight to him. I need to watch the replay on this. That was freaking ridiculous. Oh my god, that was awful. You're really gonna equalize to that. Wow, Wales are actually clutching it now after they've been awful all freaking game. That was freaking pathetic of a display, honestly. I thought we had it. I swear, Pez and these free kicks are so freaking scripted. That's the main way we can see it in these playthroughs. I'm just gonna see if we even qualified for the next round. I'm too nervous. All right, so we came in third. Wales with five points, Switzerland with four, Italy with four, and Turkey with three. So everything was really close. We most likely have a chance to qualify for the next round. The only one that was undefeated was Wales with two draws and one win. Group B, Belgium are in first. Russia second, Denmark third, Finland fourth. Group C, Netherlands first, Ukraine second, Austria third, North Macedonia fourth. Group D, Scotland first, England second, Croatia third, Czech Republic fourth. Group E, Spain first, Sweden second, Poland third, Slovakia fourth. And Group F, Portugal first, Germany second, France third, Hungary fourth. Okay, we have a tough opponent next, but we're through to the next round, thankfully. Italy, this has not been a pretty decent display. We've only scored two goals so far. Belgium's a solid side. It's gonna to be tough for the round of 16, but I think we got it. Let's look at the other matchups though. We've got Switzerland versus Ukraine, Scotland versus Poland, Belgium versus Italy, Poland versus Sweden, Netherlands versus France, Spain versus England, Wales versus Austria, and Russia versus Germany. 
All right, we're gonna try this information. Jorginho has better stats as well. Didn't know that. Let's get into this. Ooh. Oh, damn. We just subbed this guy on for the first time, Zaniolo. He only had a decent attempt on goal. Oh, Chiro, come on. <laughs> I am so dumb. Let's go! We saved the penalty against Thorgan Hazard. Do you know what? I'm giving Bolotti a shot. Chiro might have scored us that kickoff glitch goal, but that's it. Wow. Thankfully, Lukaku screwed that up. Close opportunity from Belgium. Bernabeu. Oh, he's too slow. Get that Bolotti. Yes. There's that energy we need. Insigne. <sighs> Decent interception from Bolotti. Holy crap. Decent opportunity as well. Really, bro? He's looking alive out there for sure, but he cannot finish. All right, Daniel is freaking tired. Brandeshi, come on. Make some runs, people, there we go. Verratti, give that cross to Belotti. Wow, that was great passing right there. Oh my God. Surely that's gonna get us a goal, Insigne. Ah, uh, tight angle, I get it. Let's go! Last freaking minute against Belgium. Thankfully no extra time. It's Zaniolo. We put this guy at the beginning of the game. Zaniolo gets us the goal. It was, a, it was basically a tap in, but freaking beautiful effort. Finally, Italy come clutch against a strong side, Belgium. That's impressive. Now I definitely got hope that Italy can do some solid stuff this tournament. Let's look at the rest of the results and see who we're coming up against next. Switzerland beat Ukraine 1-0. Scotland beat Poland 2-0. Italy beat Belgium 1-0. Sweden beat Portugal 1-0. Netherlands beat France 1-0. Spain beat England 3-1. Austria beat Wales 3-1. And Germany beat Russia 4-1. So Switzerland come up against Scotland. Italy come up against Sweden. Netherlands come up against Spain. And Austria come up against Germany. I thought we'd be facing Portugal, but Sweden managed to upset them. And I know Sweden got some solid players. They've done stuff against us in the past, but I'm confident we can make it to the next round. The big characters in either dressing room will be stressing the need to find whatever it takes to get through. Has everyone got the substance and character to make it? Ooh. 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 What a freaking goal from Italy. Chiesa gets the goal this time. Beautiful finesse shot after some series of through passes. It's 1-0. Pretty early on against Sweden. Let's go. Oh, come on. That's surely gonna be a goal. What the frick, Chiro? Chiro, I swear. Chiro! Let's go, Zaniolo. Point. Ooh, great save. Jorginho. Cross. Why is always going to Insigne? It doesn't matter though, he scored! Oh man, Insigne! Out of all people, score a corner. Nice. Great tackle. Zaniolo. Zaniolo! 3 0. 3 0 now. Now we're talking Italy. This is what I want to see. This is the best performance I've seen from these guys. Sweden not looking so brilliant this match whatsoever, but I'm not complaining. That's it. 3-0. We make it to the next round. Sweden devastated. Italy celebrating. 
let's look at the rest of the results now. So Scotland beat Switzerland 4-0, Italy beat Sweden 3-0, Spain beat Netherlands in extra time 2-4, and Austria beat Germany 1-0. So, for the semi-finals, Scotland face Italy and Spain face Austria. Damn, exciting that Scotland made it this far. Love to see how we do against this side. Oh, what a save, Donnarumma. That was a brilliant attack from Scotland. Now we know this side is not messing around. That was awkward. But it works. Oh, defender barely blocks the Chido Mobile attempt. Oh, come on, shoot! I was mashing me! There we go. What was that? Zaniolo gets the goal in the 38th minute, but I mean, I'm just shocked with how that turned around, honestly. I thought he was going to take the shot so much earlier, and he was struggling a bit, I guess, to keep hold of the ball, but he gets the shot at the end of the day from some pretty poor goalkeeping. Nice run, Insigne. Decent pass as well. Not what I wanted to do, but it's gonna work. No, it doesn't. Come on, Chido, Chido, Chido. This guy's unlucky at this point. He's hit the post twice in this Euro series. All right, full time 1 0. We make it to the final. Let's go. Pretty decent display from Scotland. They were definitely the underdogs this match, but it's all good. Let's take a look at the other result and see who we're playing next in the final. Wow, Austria managed to upset Spain. We literally just did a playthrough with Austria, and now we're about to play them in the final. This is quite the final matchup. How can we do against this decent Austrian side who made it all the way to the final? Let's give it our all Italy. Doink. Let's go. Let's go, Chido. Chido. We're screwing it up, Chido. Insigne. Oh. Okay. No, never mind. Oh, we slide it. <sighs> yes, she is, sir. No. Very dying minutes, we get the goal that will most likely seal this victory. Finally, winning a Euro competition with this side. Something I've been waiting for for such a long time now. Oh my god, finally, it's just been way too long. What a goal. Bellotti is the hero at the end of the day. Every player had his bits on this side. Most of the time when we do these series, it's just one player standing out. And now this squad just came together to get the win. That's it. The Euros trophy is ours. Definitely, definitely deserved from this Italian side. And yeah, just glad because I even lost track of how many times I failed to win the Euros now. It's been so long. Pretty sure since like the summer or the fall or something, I haven't won anything. And we're already in March now. So yeah, definitely one of the Euro playthroughs for the books. Let me know who you guys want me to use next in the comments below. Thank you for making it all the way to the end. And yeah, subscribe if you're new. Like this video if you enjoyed. I'll see you all very, very soon. Lock and launch.